Mangoes are delicious and nutritious, but are you eating them the right way? Listen up, you lot, because I'm Dr. Donawat, and I'm here to tell you there's a right way and a bloody wrong way to enjoy this fruit. Today, we'll uncover three common mistakes people make while eating mangoes that are sending shivers down my spine. Get ready to learn because we're about to make sure you're not an absolute disaster with this king of fruits. First up, the skin. Let's talk about it. Some of you, I swear, you see a mango and think, oh, let's eat it like an apple. You might think it's convenient, or maybe you're just curious about the taste, but hold on a second. You wouldn't believe the number of patients I've had with upset stomachs because they thought they could handle the skin. It's not just a minor discomfort, it can lead to serious digestive issues. It's like you've never seen a pesticide in your life. These chemicals are sprayed to protect the fruit from pests, but they don't just disappear, they cling to the skin. Those things cling to the skin like a bad reputation and you're ingesting them like it's nothing. Imagine all those chemicals entering your system, it's not a pretty picture. Then there are the allergens. Mango skin contains urushiol, the same compound found in poison ivy. For some people, this can be a nightmare. Mango skin can be a minefield for some people, causing rashes, itching, even swelling. It's not just a mild irritation, it can be severe and uncomfortable. You want to end up in the emergency room because of a mango? Trust me, it's not worth the risk. I didn't think so. Stick to the flesh, you donkey. The juicy, sweet flesh is what you should be enjoying. It's safe, delicious, and packed with nutrients. So next time you reach for a mango, remember to peel it first. Your body will thank you. And if you're still worried about pesticides, give your mango a good wash before peeling. Better safe than sorry, right? Enjoy your mangoes the right way, and you'll never have to worry about the skin soon again. Happy eating. This next one is just basic hygiene, but apparently I need to spell it out for some of you. When you buy fresh produce, especially fruits like mangoes, you need to be mindful of where they've been and what they've come into contact with. You wouldn't eat a mud cake potato without washing it, would you? The same logic applies to mangoes. They might look clean on the outside, but you never know what kind of dirt or bacteria is lurking on the surface. So why, for God's sake, are you treating mangoes any differently? Just because they have a peel doesn't mean they're immune to contamination. Think about all the places they've been before reaching your kitchen. These fruits have traveled miles, touched by countless hands, probably a few insects along the way. From the farm to the market and finally to your home, mangoes go through a lot. Each step in this journey adds another layer of potential contaminants. Do I need to paint you a picture? Wash the damn mango! It's a simple step that can save you from ingesting harmful bacteria or pesticides. Take a moment to think about your health and the health of your loved ones. Use cold water, scrub it thoroughly, and for heaven's sake, dry it properly. A quick rinse isn't enough. You need to make sure all the dirt and residues are completely removed. Drying it helps prevent any remaining bacteria from multiplying. It's not rocket science, people. A clean mango is a delicious mango. Enjoy your fruit without the worry of what might be lurking on its surface. Take the extra minute to wash it properly, and you'll thank yourself later. Chapter 3. Let's dive into a topic that really gets under my skin. This last one really gets my blood boiling. Overripe mangoes. You know the ones I'm talking about. They're mushy, they're fermented, they taste like a bad decision. And you know what? They can ruin your entire experience. Not only do they taste awful, but they've lost half their nutritional value. Yes, half. You're basically eating sugar mush at that point. It's like consuming a dessert gone wrong. So how do you avoid this pitfall? Learn to spot a ripe mango. A ripe mango should give slightly when pressed, smell sweet, and have a vibrant color. These are your key indicators. If it looks like it's about to stage its own funeral, it's gone too far, don't waste your money, and more importantly, don't insult your taste buds. Remember, a good mango is a joy, but an overripe one is a tragedy. Choose wisely. So, there you have it. Three mango mistakes that are probably making you look like a complete idiot. Remember, avoid the skin like the plague, wash your fruit like a civilized human being, and for the love of all that is holy, stop eating mangoes that are practically composting themselves. Make sure to avoid these mistakes and enjoy your mangoes to the fullest. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips.